Just come in a bit closer now on this drawer front. Here we are. So if you do the mouldings at first, it's in here, get that all nice and neat and tidy, watch out for any drips, and uh, then get into the, uh, where the handle is, just around the masking tape there, just stipple it in like that, so it's all nicely covered, and then you can carry on and paint the uh, edges. I tend to do them like that, because then it basically means I can get paint cover on all those edges like that and then I just go along whoosh 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 same here whoosh 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 same here whoosh 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 don't forget the bottom If you paint in the uh, direction of the grain, so that way, and that way, and that way, and that way, and then uh, just uh, make sure you watch out for any drips and do very light strokes when you finish. Just do it very lightly once you do your final pass, and then you should get a good finish without too many furrows in it. Unfortunately, I haven't got a very good uh, microphone. Well, the one I wore didn't seem to work very well. But anyway, so do the uh, mouldings first, little in round little mouldings, and uh, then just stipple in round the edge of the masking tape round the handle. Easier if you can take the handles off, but in this case we couldn't uh, because they're all glued in. And then I just go around the uh, the edges, and then fill in whatever's left over. But if you paint in the direction of the grain, so left to right and then from top to bottom on those edges and then hopefully you should get a nice finish uh, the key to it is to get the paint on and then when you do your final pass with your paintbrush it's just to do it ever so lightly if you do a light pass then uh, you should find that the paint will uh, flow nicely together and you should get a good uh, tidy finish because if you tend to sort of drag it too heavily then you'll probably end up with a more furrowed rough finish because uh, the water-based paints are I don't know, sometimes they don't flow quite as well as the old-fashioned oil-based gloss paints which used to sort of flow and create a really glossy nice um, literary mirror-like finish 